When you're feeling dusty and tired, you probably just need your hair done. Stay tuned as I show you how I refresh my hair. Hello lovelies, my name is Crystal. If you are new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. As you can see, my hair is crusty, it's dusty, it's dry. She just needs some love, some TLC to come back to life. And that is exactly what I'm going to do in today's video. Being completely honest, I haven't done a thorough wash in like over a month, just quick washes. So this is long overdue. I did start by scratching my scalp before I started this process. I just didn't show it on camera. Then I get in the shower and I just rinse the hair really well. I first go in with a light clarifying shampoo. I absolutely love this one. It is so good and it's like very affordable. I got it off of Amazon. I think it was about $10 and it's so good because it doesn't really strip my hair, but it definitely cleanses my scalp. Whenever I'm shampooing, I only target my scalp area because that's what needs to be cleansed the most. I don't focus on the other parts of the hair strand because I know they'll get cleansed while I rinse the shampoo out. Most of this is sped up to save time, clearly, but I do take my time and make sure that I get all of the clarifying shampoo out and the hair is nice and clean before I put in the next product. Yes, I am going in with another shampoo. I always double cleanse. Double cleansing your hair is actually very beneficial. This ensures that you've properly cleansed your hair before moving on to the next step like conditioner or mask. Growing up, my mother and my grandmother were the only ones who did my hair. And this is just how they did it. They always did the shampoo twice and then the conditioner after. And that's pretty much how I've been doing it ever since. Even though I have long nails, I've mastered the technique of just using my fingertip paddles to massage my scalp and get any debris up. I adore this silicone scalp massager that I got from Sephora. It is so good and it was like $6, so cheap. It doesn't hurt, the points are very soft and squishy, so it's not like you're poking yourself. And then you use this to just rub up against your scalp. It feels so good. Like I said, it is a massager and it helps promote the blood circulation back to your scalp and follicles, which helps promote hair growth. And again, just rinsing the hair very, very well to make sure I get all of the product out. Once that's done, I like to go in with a really nice slip conditioner and I have to use a lot of it. I don't detangle my hair before washing, so I have to do it during the conditioning stage. So I end up using a lot of conditioner. The conditioning and detangling process is so long for me. It's the longest step that I have. I typically only work in half sections, so I split my hair in half, coat all of the hair in conditioner, and then just tie up one side and work on the other. I get small sections of hair. I gently pull it apart with my hands to get like any serious things out of the way. And then slowly as I go and I get more and more sections separated, I kind of like weave my fingers through and finger comb it. I am being very gentle with my hair. I know it looks like I'm being rough because the clip is sped up, but again, it takes me a very long time to do this process because I am so gentle. Also, if you think that your conditioner isn't working the way it should, try adding a little bit of water in this section and watch it foam up. It's gonna work a whole lot better, trust me. Once I'm done finger detangling, I go in with my detangle brush just to make sure all the product is smooth through the hair. And then I go ahead and make a twist or I make a plait and just set that hair aside. And then I start on the other side. After 28 minutes of detangling, this is what my hair looks like. It's so nice, so healthy. And I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out and get started on the next step. This is one of the best deep conditioners I've ever tried. I love this. I've been using it for like five years. I always have to have at least like one or two on hand at all times because 
I just have to have it. It makes my hair so, so soft, so easy, so manageable, and it just feels so healthy. And I love it. Like one of my top favorite deep conditioners out there. I do my best to coat all of the hair, trying to avoid the scalp really, but then I saturate as much as I can on the ends. On the directions, it does say you can let this sit for five to 30 minutes, but I typically put it on a whole lot longer. And then I like to do a little something extra as well. Once I get out of the shower, I go ahead and get my steamer ready. Yes, this is more of a garment like linen steamer that I got off of Amazon, but everything has multiple purposes. I go ahead and steam the hair with the protein deep conditioner in it. Steaming your hair has so many good benefits. It helps you retain moisture. It improves the manageability. It also fortifies the strands, so it helps to improve the elasticity of your curls. Because steam helps the hair retain moisture better, it reduces breakage and enhances hair growth. It also helps improve water balance, so it helps hydrating products seep into your hair better. And it also helps get better results from conditioning and deep conditioning treatments like the one that I'm doing. I quickly put the plastic cap back on and a bonnet just to really like hold in the heat and the moisture to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And then I'll use the hood of my robe as well just to make sure it stays moist and warm. And then I use that last little bit of steam for my face because why not? Even though the directions say to leave it for five to 30 minutes, I usually end up leaving mine on for a few hours. I've just always done that. I'll do things around the house like cooking, cleaning, just, you know, anything. And then once I get done with whatever I'm doing, I'll go and rinse it out like I'm doing now. It looks so hydrating and I'm so happy about that. It also feels so soft and amazing. I absolutely highly, highly, highly recommend that protein deep conditioner pack. It is so good. Now that I'm done with that and I'm dressed, I have my hair wrapped in this hair towel I got from Myel. I love it. It keeps the hair still somewhat moist so I can still add product into it without having to rush right out the shower. I'm going to be adding a little bit of this hair milk and then also a leave-in conditioner from Myel as well. This just helps keep my hair moisturized. I don't want it to dry out because I'm going to be doing a protective style. I am going to be letting my hair air dry most of the way. So I'm just gonna add this in tonight and then let it soak in overnight and then straighten it in the morning. When I say straighten, I don't mean the typical straightener or flat iron. I'm gonna be using a paddle brush hair dryer just to kind of straighten out the hair, lengthen the curls to make it easier to manage while I do my braids. Yes, I'm only using just a little bit of this. I don't wanna use too much and I'm only gonna focus on the shaft and the ends of the hair, making sure I can seal in all the moisture I can before doing this style. The next day, I get started on my hair as soon as I get up. I add a little bit of my favorite hair oil. I also add a heat protectant and frizz control spray just to, you know, minimize any kind of poofing that I may have when I get these braids done. I'm mainly adding the heat protectant spray because I'm going to be blow drying my hair. At this point, the hair is just about 100% dry. So when I go in and I use this paddle brush blow dryer, again, I'm not really trying to do much to it besides just lengthen out the curls and kind of straighten them. That way it's easier for me to braid. And yes, I braid my own hair. It does take me quite a while to do, which is why it took me a few days to get the video posted. I prefer to work in these smaller sections when I'm drying my hair. It does take me a lot longer, but it helps me ensure that I get a majority of the hair dry and straight. Look at this little piece that I cut off a couple months ago by accident. I love seeing the difference in the length of my hair when it's curly versus when it's straight. It's just so mind blowing. Doing the back of my head is such a task, but I love the T3 brush because it's so long. It makes it a lot easier. 
Also, I noticed that my ends needed to be trimmed. I also got a clip this way just so you guys can see like I don't straighten my hair straight up I do it to the side like this but if I were to do it straight up it would be such a arm workout also I did want to measure my hair before I trimmed it and it's about 24 inches long and for the last step I go in with a cooling setting on the hair dryer and just cool dry the hair one last good time before I actually get started braiding my hair Again, I do it myself and it takes me quite a while. So we fast forward until when I'm already done with it. I'm using the same linen steamer from earlier. I'm just using that to steam my hair. I've already set it in hot water, but I like to do a little steamer too. It helps loosen up the hair so the braids aren't as stiff. I am wearing a face mask while I'm steaming my hair because the steamer goes for about 10 to 15 minutes, which is the perfect amount of time for a face mask. And that completes my self care and hair reset. I don't care what anyone says, getting your hair done can elevate your mood so, so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. If you did, consider subscribing and joining the channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.